Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 10 of Let's Play the Sons of Abraham DLC for Crusader Kings 2. I thought I heard something just pop, but um, I don't know what that was. Count Donald has declared Count Donald's War. And there we go, we're at 100%. Call to arms from Asturias. Sounds fine. We'll enforce demands against our buddy here. Gain another county. Let's go ahead and just create new random people. I could have sworn you used to be... You used to be able to just change it to papal. But um, perhaps we need to wait for the Pope to, to request it from us. If that's the case, we might as well go up to low crown authority. One part of being charitable is to harbor the homeless. Several villages have been destroyed in a storm, and the peasants need somewhere to live. That's fine. What to do now, I wonder? You are a Norse Catholic. We have some claims to your land, somehow. This guy owns a lot of land. And being incapable at age 22 as a gray eminence means he's not going to live very long. But we have a truce for another six years. I never did attack down here, did I? Do we have enough boats now? Nope, still just have six. Can we build more boats? No castle, no no technology here. If I really wanted to do this, I would have to just build more shipyards in my vassals' holdings. Maybe even... Um, maybe we can build one up here in Ulster. It's at point nine. I could send my marshal to research military tech there and try to get that to tech up to level to level level one, and then we could build a shipyard here, and then we'd have 12 ships. But attacking that county seems kind of silly. So what are, we, what, what, what are you up to again? You're defending. Civil War to lower crown authority. Duke Mendo's Holy War for Asturias. All right, fine. I'll help you. I'm not happy about it, but I'll do it. Unfortunately, this army is actually too large to fit on the boats. And I can't split it. So a big part of my army can't go. My son died of poor health. That's, uh, it used to say a natural death, but yeah, he, he just had died of poor health, apparently. All right, so let's combine. All right, how are we gonna do this? I need to, to get as close to 600 as possible and this army, we just need to stand down because it can't fit, no matter what. So let's just split it, get on the boat. These armies are really scary. And I can't get my army over there quickly enough. Right now we have... 2,000 men. So even if I got them over there, it could barely compete with that army. Ah, we gotta try. We said we'd help them. Let's go down here. Nah, let's just actually go to here. What are you doing? Oh, he's actually joined in in defense of the war. Good. Mm 
My Duke of Tara, I gave you that duchy. And now you're trying to fabricate a claim. You're a silly man. Oh, well, we don't really need that claim anymore, do we? Um, improve relations with the Duke, sounds good. Are you sure I don't have any more boats? Alright, in that case, I do think I'm going to try to spread military tech. See if we can get that ship building up. 35% chance per year of going up a tenth of a level. And in the meantime, I'm kind of tempted to just build another shipyard. See, like, you have a shipyard, you jerk. Why don't you build a shipyard? And why don't you provide me with any ships, please? He only has one right now. Okay, well, when that reinforces, then we'd probably be able to raise maybe two or three from him. I don't even know if I need to help. Brittany seems to be just like, not having any of this nonsense. They're just showing up with power. Jesus. But I'm here too. I'm going to help. We've got a heavy infantry leader. Got some pretty good commanders. Let's auto balance. All right, time for some combat. I hope Lux Invicta gets patched soon because I really want to play a mod like that with all these changes. Yes! Kill! Take down the rest of it. And, uh, who do we want to siege? Sweet, we caught a mare. I like that. Now, I still can't beg for money from the Pope because I have free investiture. Well, make me change it, dude. Please? Pretty please? I want to change it. I don't, I don't want to be under this type of investiture. I could have sworn in the past you could just change them back and forth. It was a, it's a crown law, so you could only do one, one per lifetime, but there was nothing stopping you from doing it. Still just the six boats. I've just picked a random person to start sieging. A Muslim, because why not? Became chaste like I was in my youth. Look at this piety, I'm such a pious man. And we'll just go speed five, let some stuff happen. Cardinal Hughes was given a seat. We still have a cardinal, right? Still have a guy? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Our next guy is actually pretty well suited. 823. Let's go ahead and finance him up to the point where he... Whoa! Never mind. Secular power, 980. Okay, so apparently if you want a cardinal... Cardinal Hughes the Bastard was given a seat. Do 
Do I need to like reload the screen? What's just happened? Why are there only eight cardinals? And why is there a bishop who is a king? Huh. That's kind of interesting. I thought there had to be nine cardinals. Well, we're not going to finance anything against a king. Secular power, okay. So the more land you give them, the better they are. Cardinal Hughes the Bastard was given a seat in the College of Cardinals. I thought he was already! Alright, my game is clearly getting messed up. That's like five times. I'm guessing maybe a king can't be a cardinal or something and it's trying to make him into a king. Perhaps we should kill this man. I'm causing problems in the papacy, bro. Not happy about this. You're messing everything up. All right, we've done enough work. We're going home. My co-conspirator is going to kill this Cardinal Hughes, the bastard. I don't understand what's happening. It's very strange. But apparently we have lots of plot power against him. I think it's trying to fill that spot. Okay, so he died. And now it's trying to put this guy in charge. Alright, looks like we need to kill another one. <laughs> Let's raise up the boats and go pick up our men. I'm not going to make my cardinal into a non-chaplain. He should at least be the chaplain. Alright, success yet again. Is it another person? I don't understand, like, why this guy is continuously being the king and he's just... He has no listed heir. So it's just going to random people. Very strange. I'm guessing what happened is a Carling family member somehow became a bishop and then a faction must have claimed put his put him on the put him in charge this this man that we keep killing by the way or rather figure is a bishop king of two kingdoms he's got the theocracy of burgundy which is apparently a you know the kingdom of burgundy and then he's got the Theocracy of Lotharingia. I don't know how to fix this. This is weird. Maybe if I... He's got so much secular power that he's just very likely to... to stay as the next expected cardinal. I guess I'd, have, I'd probably have to bribe, bribe the person's position, maybe? Or I could maybe... press someone else's claim. To Lothringia. I can invite a male claimant to my court and then press his claim. It's really, really weird. I don't know how that happened. Oh well. So we just continue to kill these guys. Oh, no, not, not that guy. Now there's a 27 year old. Also expected. All right, we can try it. Let's spend a little bit of money. And then maybe we can kill this guy. 
There's really no reason to kill that guy, is there? I'd have to kill another one of the, the cardinals. Oh, no, there we go. My, my cardinal was immediately appointed. So, yeah, there was there was an open slot, so every month it was trying to put someone in charge, and it, was, it can't put a king up there, apparently. I wonder if that's a, a mistake. All right, well, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video, everyone. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.